Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. What an honor and privilege it is for me to be in Drumheller with Minister Phillips, with members of uh, the town council, with the former mayor, with people who work at work and play at this great uh, Alberta treasure, the Royal Terrell Museum. And I can say it's exciting to be here on behalf of the Minister of Culture, Melanie Jolie, as we discuss about this exciting initiative. And right here in Drumheller, I, I have to say it's also exciting to me personally, because I came here with my father, Richard Hare. Now, the reason the excitement is that he was the principal in the Tsar from 1972 to 1977. And as you guys are aware, Hazar is a hop, skip, and a jump away from Drumheller. But when we wanted to go see a big city, see where the excitement was, we said, let's drive up the road to Drumheller. There I can <laughs> go to a swimming pool. I can uh, go play hockey. I took my first hockey school here. And me and my sister, we could climb on the hoodoos. Back then we could. And we would climb on the hoodoos, have a hot dog. And it was a remarkable day. But you know what I couldn't do? Back then in those five years, I could not go to the Rada Terrell Museum. You know why? It was not here. And that's what we're here today to celebrate, the success of this building, the success of your programming for young and old alike, and how it fits within the Alberta and Canadian dream of getting more educational experiences and outreach for young and old alike. I can say I read an article about uh, Drumheller, about the excitement of paleontology. It was about Elizabeth Nichol, who was a curator here at the Royal Terrell. And she did some amazing things. She actually uh, started a prehistoric dig where she was uh, in 12 hours away from here in BC. She'd go out, start uh, looking for fossils and things of that nature. She went and dig and uh, all sorts of modern equipment from uh, uh, not bulldozers, but uh, whole sorts of things are going to shovels to do uh, different uh, types of apparatuses to go and dig and to find uh, the fossils and to come up with the evidence that we need to put in for uh, our kids to learn from. And she actually went about and found one of the largest prehistoric marine animals ever found. But her excitement to get involved in these type of things and become a curator here started at a young age, where we have on record her writing the United States government to their National Historical Museum about how to get interested in information in fossils and records of that nature and how it builds upon our evidence of what we do, not only our schools and classrooms, but in government. And it was real neat to read that, and she also is a curator right here. But I think what's exciting is that today I'm announcing $3.6 million of federal investment in this great place. It will go a long way to allowing more digital access, to allowing more fossil casting, to allowing more programming, and people to come here and care, share, and play together. I know kids in Alberta will enjoy it. I know kids across this country will come here and learn and take part and build their lives through science and through the remarkable people who work here. Have a great experience. And in particular, on a selfish note, I know my nephews, Marshall, Jackson, and Parker, are going to look forward to this immensely. And in conclusion, I just would like to say thank you the people of Drumheller, the people who work at the Royal Terrell Museum, who make it such an exciting place that people can come and get a real live experience that takes them back to the past but helps them build their, both their present and their teachers. A real exciting day for me personally, exciting day for our government, and no doubt an exciting day for the provincial government and local residents as well. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here.